Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and I ran across something odd um, bringing my time lapse from my Canon T2i into Sony Vegas, and I thought I'd share. So, what I did, first off, there's two different ways. You can go in and say, you know, import, and here's all of the, the photos that I took today, and down here it says, open still image sequence, and you can click on it. And it starts at 8717, it goes all the way to 9080, you know, big number, lots of images. So I say OK. And I'll just say office window or something. And then I click OK. And boom, like almost instantly, it creates a file, which almost doesn't seem right. It does it that fast. So I drag it on the timeline. And something weird occurs. Well, there's two things. One, obviously, the, it's not cropped correctly, as you can see from the uh, black borders on each side. And I can take care of that by basically um, going, doing something like this. But that's not really the issue. The issue is, here, let me take and put in, like, the first image. And look at the difference between that, I can look how dark the sky is and everything else, and look at the thumbnail image. It's a lot brighter. Very odd. So, and I'll, I'm going to play that time lapse for you right now. All right, now that you're back, there's a second way to do it. And that is to import each individual frame into the timeline. And so I go under Options, Preferences, uh, Editing. And here I want to you know one frame, one divided by 24. So um, on my calculator, if I divide one divided by 24, I get 0 0.0416 repeating. So I'm going to put that in here for the new stim new still image length 0.0416666 then I also make sure that these aren't checked I hit apply I say okay and then I go grab all of my images and I import them and you'll see them populate and if I drag these down you see it becomes one big block, but if I zoom in, you can see there are a whole bunch of individual. And the, the thumbnails will come in sooner or later. And then, you know, obviously I can, you know, make this bigger. And so it fills the frame. And, okay, I'm going to go ahead and play that back for you right now. So as you can see, there's two different ways to do it. I don't know which one's right, considering that it only took a, like a fraction of a second or a couple seconds for it to create the still image sequence um, thing. I'm guessing it's not working very hard or doing it correctly. So I'm guessing this is the proper way to import a time lapse into your Sony Vegas editor. Um, if anybody else knows of a different way to do that, let me know uh, with Sony Vegas, and I'd appreciate it. All right, thanks. Bye.